Ace here from Ace of Space Astrophotography and in today's video, well before I get to today's video I'd just like to thank the 89 subscribers I have to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for, support, for supporting my channel. Alright so uh, let's get to the video here. So um, today's video I'd like to uh, show you my, um, I re-imaged the Orion Nebula and I used hydrogen alpha, luminance, red, green and blue and I combined all five filters. But before I get to that, I'd like to just show you one of the processes I use in PixInsight that works really well. It's called multi-scale median transform. And what it does is it helps reduce noise. So here's my luminance image. And I've got the multi-scale median transform turned on. Yeah, I, I already added to the picture here. So let me undo it. And you can see all the background noise. So once, you, and then let me reapply MMT. And look at all the noise it reduces. It, it, it doesn't take all the noise out, but it helps reduce a lot. It works really, really well. So if you're new to PixInsight and you've never used it, give it a try. There's lots of videos up there that, tell you, that uh, show you how to use MMT. It works really well, so I, I really recommend it. All right, so let's get to the uh, main part of the video here. So give me a second. Let me load up my uh, Orion project here. Alright, so give me a minute here. Let me uh, pause the video while the uh, project loads. It takes a few minutes. There's a lot of processes in there. Just give me a minute here. Okay, so there's the project loaded. And here's my final image of the Orion Nebula. Actually, it turned out quite well. Uh, some of the stars aren't quite round, but uh, for shoot through the window, it actually came out quite nice. I was really surprised. A little bit of a star halo here, but yeah, that's uh, from the uh, filters from my uh, hydrogen alpha filter. All right, so overall, I think it, it turned out uh, turned out quite well. Not too bad for shooting through the window. All right, so um, this is what uh, the um, luminance filter looked like before everything was combined. So that's luminance filter by itself, all stacked. A little bit of vignetting there. A little bit of dust on the uh, IR protect window on the ASI camera so that's what the uh, one uh, the, the, so that's I think it's two hours uh, 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 one minute uh, two hours uh, and I did one minute exposure sorry all right so here's the uh, red filter they're all stacked so I didn't quite get the uh, rotation correct when I did the next filters because I, I I think I took three days to image this, so I didn't have the camera in the in the sorry in the correct orienta orientation. Same with the uh, green, red, and blue filter; they all look they all look pretty close to the same. And then the hydrogen alpha filter was the b oh wrong one. The hydrogen alpha was the best one. That that turned out quite nice. Not bad at all. But overall, the final picture, I think it turned out really, really well. Looks really, really good. All right. So in the comments, if you guys wouldn't mind, if you would wouldn't mind leaving uh, a message uh, in the comment section, uh, um, uh, let me know what uh, a deep sky object you would like me to uh, image next. That would be uh, really neat. I like your feedback on that. Thanks very much. So um, everybody take care. Thanks for watching. Ace out.